This video for the vital syllabus provides an introduction to the topic of transhumanism. Transhumanism is a way of thinking about the world, thinking about progress, thinking about risks, and thinking about possible future scenarios. Transhumanism is also a call to action, action to discern these possible futures more clearly, action to revise society's priorities in the light of that improved foresight, and action to actually build a significantly better future. Transhumanism anticipates the likelihood of a radical transition in the human condition involving an extended period of chaos and turbulence before reaching a new level of stability and growth. This is sometimes called the transition from H to H+, a transition that uplifts and enhances our most important human characteristics, setting us free from ages old limits. This transition is already underway and is poised to accelerate over the next few decades as technological advances put ever more power into human hands. This transition will be no mere change in peripheral aspects of human livelihoods, such as a change in the typical occupation or moving to a new part of the country or purchasing some new electronic gadgets. The transition is likely to be much further reaching. Here's a positive transhumanist scenario that could be enabled by wise use of emerging technology. Human lives could become much longer and much healthier due to improvements in biotechnology and nanotechnology. This is sometimes called super longevity. Human thinking could become much clearer, more accurate, more objective, more creative, and more rational due to improvements in neurotechnology and artificial intelligence. This is sometimes called super intelligence. Human states of consciousness could become much kinder, more joyous, less depressive, less egocentric, more compassionate, and more enlightened. This is sometimes called super happiness. Human society could become much more supportive, less deceitful, less partisan, less exploitative, more diverse, and more collaborative. This is sometimes called super democracy. Humanity's relationship with nature as a whole and with the wider cosmos could be transformed too for mutual sustainable benefit. This is sometimes called super abundance. All this lies within humanity's collective grasp. A 5S civilization is at hand. But none of these outcomes can be taken for granted. The same set of technological changes could, if mismanaged, lead not to an upward transition, but to a downward spiral. Transhumanism draws attention to major risks from inadvertent consequences of more powerful technology. For example, systems for surveillance and the management of armaments can be made more efficient by placing them under the supervision of artificial intelligence. But any errors in such systems could lead to an accidental exchange of nuclear missiles. Commercial airplanes have, sadly, already been shot out of the sky by trigger-happy defense systems. Artificial intelligence can also be deployed to help corporations develop and deploy products to boost financial profits. 
but a narrowness of focus in such systems could result in adverse side effects from these products, including widespread damage to mental health, physical health, or the health of the environment. New techniques in biotechnology can allow better medicines to be developed, but also enable the creation of devastating new bioweapons and neurotoxins. The disruption caused by COVID would pale in comparison to disruption from such an outbreak. Apparent improvements in human welfare, initially applauded by consumer groups, might turn out to have longer term detrimental consequences by creating monocultures, damaging resilience, limiting choices, or creating vulnerabilities to hacking or other systemic failures. Large numbers of people already feel left behind by recent changes in society, perceiving themselves as suffering economically, feeling a lack of respect, having nothing to contribute in today's world, being increasingly alienated and prone to acts of harm against themselves or others. Accordingly, transhumanism emphasizes how vital it is to harness the acceleration of technology, steering towards desirable outcomes, applying brakes where needed, and in other cases, encouraging even faster development. To recap, transhumanism emphasizes the following context for our thinking and action in the 2020s and beyond. Radical opportunity. The near future can be much better than the present situation. The human condition can be radically improved compared to what we have inherited from evolution and history. Think again about the 5S civilization. Existential danger. The near future can be much worse than the present situation. Misuse of powerful technology can have catastrophic consequences. We could enter a new dark age or worse. Human agency. The difference between these two radical future options depends critically on human agency, wise human thinking, and concerted human action. No easy options. If humanity gives too little attention to these radical future options on account of distraction, incomprehension, or intimidation, there's a high likelihood of a radically bad outcome. Given this context, transhumanism highlights a set of values to guide our collective decisions in the face of these oncoming radical scenarios. Let's take a closer look. The fundamental transhumanist value is the promotion of human well-being. In all decisions, actions should be preferred that lead to the increase of human well-being. As for what that well-being involves, how to measure it, and how to improve it, these are inquiries that remain open and ongoing. Well-being involves vitality, liberty, creativity, health, intelligence, awareness, happiness, collaboration, and bliss, but extends beyond these separate traits. Over time, our understanding of the conditions and possible expression of human well-being will surely evolve and improve. That's as it should be. To be clear, in this transhumanist vision, individual human well-being should never be sacrificed or subordinated in favor of collectivist goals. Individuals should never become cannon fodder in service of some tribal, national, ethnic, religious, or ideological quest. Such notions are part of an earlier worldview that must now be left behind. At the same time, 
active transhumanism recognises that it's in our mutual interest to protect and elevate all members of society. We depend on each other. We are intrinsically social beings. We're stronger together rather than in isolation or a state of war. In support of its goals, transhumanism champions the following means. Science, data and rationality. To improve our decisions, it's important to seek, publish and review objective data, respecting the best scientific principles rather than accepting the say-so of would-be pundits or celebrities. Openness. In deliberations between conflicting insights, no book, thinker or tradition should be given any absolute priority. Society needs to remain open to the possibility that currently favoured ideas and methods will be superseded. Of course, respect can be shown to books, thinkers or traditions with good track records as sources of insight. But that respect should be tempered with caution. Runs of success can come to an end, especially in new circumstances or new contexts. Proactive vigilance. We need to expect the unexpected. In other words, to keep monitoring for new risks and new opportunities. Where possible, actions should be preferred that are reversible, lest surprises arise. In anticipation of the possibility of changes in plan, we should design for change rather than with certainty in mind. Finally, transhumanism extends its thinking about context, about core values and about means championed via three key generalizations and extensions to what has been set out above. The generalizations and extensions forming the larger transhumanist picture are as follows. Sustainability, generalizing from the present into the future. Our plans need to enable not only well-being today, but also well-being tomorrow and the days and years that follow. Hence the need to avoid actions that reduce the possibilities for future well-being. Consciousness, generalizing the previous principles beyond present day humans. In all decisions, actions should be preferred that lead to the increase of the well-being of consciousness. To the extent that animal or artificial minds possess core attributes of consciousness, these minds deserve at least some of the same care and support as human minds. This care includes possibilities for growth and development and the elimination of needless suffering. Diversity. The preceding principles leave many questions unanswered. They define a broad envelope that can accommodate a multiplicity of different viewpoints. That diversity is itself something to embrace. Hence, one more core principle. Within the overall transhumanist framework, diverse opinions and lifestyles should be cherished and nurtured. It's from interactions between diverse subcultures that some of the most important insights and experiences are likely to arise. In practical measures, the progress of transhumanism will depend on three broad activities. Advocacy, promoting the benefits of the transhumanist vision, countering the misunderstandings that have arisen from time to time, 
and dispelling an unhelpful shadow of wishful thinking that exists in some parts of the broader transhumanist movement. Education Clarifying the relevance of active transhumanism to a wide range of topics and issues, including frameworks to guide research, development and deployment of new technologies. Politics building alliances to counter dangerous tendencies in existing social and political systems and to accelerate the application of society's resources to projects that will be truly beneficial. Look out for other vital syllabus videos that provide additional insight about transhumanism.